Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening. Today I want to talk about a little knife that punches way above its weight, and that is the Cold Steel Tough Light. This is the full-size Tough Light. Yes, they do have a smaller Tough Light. Um, it has an FRN handle. It has an Aus 8 blade. It's a back lock. Whoops. One cliff blade, just a little slicer, guys. This is a utility knife of your dreams. It comes in under 40 bucks. It is an ergonomic little demon. So I'd never hold it back here like this, but if I wanted to, I can get three fingers on it. This knife's designed to be held in my medium to large hand like this. They do make a tough light mini that has even a smaller blade but in terms of a cutter a box murderer uh, um, utility cutter the cold steel tough light in aus 8 and frn is really hard to beat guys this little knife again it's a back lock but it is very drop shutty for a back lock I'm under a camera, so I'm having a hard time flipping it, but if I'm not under a camera, it's very easy to middle finger flick. It's also very easy to two hand open. But it's tip down, only carry, which is really not a big deal because it's a great fifth pocket knife, fifth pocket carry knife. Um, it's got real thick blade stock and nice jimping. Let's see if I can't open it. Nope. So that jimping really follows your finger up there to get on that blade, locks it in place. I don't think it needs to be any sharper. I don't think it needs to be knocked down. I think for what this little knife's intended purpose is, um, it, it really outdoes itself. The clip is reversible. It's only tipped down, but it can go both right hand and left hand. So it's a truly ambidextrous knife with the back lock. Um, Fun little knife, a knife that gets a lot of use for me because again, it's so utilitarian, it's so usable. Let's do a couple of quick size comparisons on the Cold Steel Tough Light. Let's look at it next to its sibling, the Cold Steel Formax. And it's going to be much smaller than the Formax. Let's look at it next to the Civivi Baby Banter. It's going to be a little bit bigger than the Civivi Baby Banter, but right there in that same fifth pocket carry size. Let's look at it next to a bitch made bug out. So smaller than the bug out larger than the Civivi Baby Banter, kind of falls in between those sizes, closer to the Civivi Baby Banter than the Bug Out. A small knife, but then again, when you look at the height of the blade, when you look at the blade thickness, the utility of the blade, you can get a lot more uh, torque out of that back lock and out of that blade stock um, for harder tasks, prying tasks, scraping tasks. Um, you could cut roofing material, carpet, you name it with this. But this is the Cold Steel Tough Light, guys. It is a really neat little knife. Um, it's been in my collection for probably close to two years. I got this knife early on in my collecting, but it's one that I've kept in the knife box and in my pocket because it does get a lot of use. And for a hard use, little utility knife, little cutter, Besides my fixed blades, I think this one kind of fits the bill for those type of cuts. Um, it's, it's hard to beat. Again, that Warncliffe blade, uh, it's got a real, real tall, flat grind. That may be a hollow grind. It's got a hollow grind, guys. But very, very slicey. Let's see, I've got some coupon right here. This may be a little thick. I 
very slicey. Sharpens up great. I put that edge on, I want to say it's about 18 and a half. But that, my friends, is the Cold Steel Tough Light. Very economical knife. You can get it for around 36, 37 bucks. If that's too big for you, you can get the smaller version. But most important part of all my videos is to ask you guys to please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Please look out for each other. Know that you're not always going to agree, that you're going to disagree on things, and that's okay. You can debate it out. You can talk it out. Try to understand your partner, your friend, your whoever uh, opinion. Try to get an idea of why they feel the way they do. All I want y'all to do is not just openly hate, not be cruel, be kind. You guys are all kind. You gals are all kind. I love you all. Thanks for watching the video if you've made it this long. Peace.